So I, that's kind of why I, I don't see sharing as a bad thing, because without sharing, you know, there is this old joke, what if the guy who wrote ABC, the song, actually copyrighted those words? You know, what would we have today? We'd have an alphabet that's usable. You know, it, it, it sounds quite stupid, but there is some logic to it. You know? So we should be more open, because we are all benefiting from things that we've learned or copied from someone else. Thank you. Uh, for the outfit question that I wanted to share with you, because you're an entrepreneur and you're in favor of open innovation and sharing. But we talked about trade-offs because everyone here will bring ideas and we will help each other, but there is a tough world out there and there, there seems to be a need for some sort of protection. So what, what's your view on that? Because there are a lot of potential entrepreneurs here that, that uh, wants to take one or another step in the future to explore their ideas. Is there a need for some sort of protection, do you think? Um, I, I don't really see the super need for it. You know, in some cases probably, but the, the trade-off with having you know, too much protected is worse. And uh, when we speak about flatter, we took the idea public two years ago, and uh, we've been called copycats by the ones who tried starting it a year ago, uh, something similar, which is just funny. I laugh about it because I think it's, it's cute, uh, and I'm, it, it just shows that you had a good idea. So my best protection tip would be be first and be good when you're first. That's, that's it, because if it's good, someone will copy it. You know, the iPad came out a couple of days ago, and at the same time, there is someone in China that said, I'm going to make a copy of that. Sell it. So you're not going to be able to avoid it. Just be first and be best and be open with what you do and invite people to help you. So if you're doing an internet website or whatever, open up the API, let people use your system so they don't have to build it because then you won't have competition. It's quite simple.
work somewhere. Uh, the freemium model, you know, give away some for free, uh, get some extra payments for things that are more expensive for you as a company to actually provide. And people are totally okay with that and try to come up with more revenue streams, but don't focus on having one business model, I think. I think that's the big problem today because we're so diverse and people want things that where they want it. So you're not going to be able to say, you're going to get this way. It's not the T4 anymore. You know, you can have it in any color you want as long as it's black. That doesn't fit today. Thank you, Peter. Uh, we have, uh, I think, plenty of rooms for, for more questions. So please take your opportunity now and ask Peter. So which people has inspired me? Um, I really hate that question. <laughs> <laughs> I think every, every, it sounds even more stupid, but most people I meet inspire me in some way. You know, that's, that's kind of basic, that's how we um, are as people. But one very inspiring person when it comes to the business side is, is probably Morten Lund, uh, who was one of the founders and invest, previous, the early investors in Skype. Uh, he's the guy that made a lot of money from Skype and in less than a year lost all of the money and became a more happy person. And he inspires me that you know you can actually fail and still enjoy it. Because it doesn't matter how much money you have, it matters how much fun you have and how you actually go about in your everyday life. Because having a goal that you want to be somewhere in a certain certain time is not really much worth if you don't have enjoy the time going there. So I'm gonna. I don't have anything left to say after that because that's the most important thing. No. no, but seriously, have fun and uh, make a change in society. And uh, even if I don't agree with you that you should make that change, I'm still happy that you're trying to make society a better place. Because that's, you know, selling a TV in a store doesn't change anything. And I think most people are not really interested in doing that. So that's very important. Change. Changing the pirate bay, um, having an offshore company owning it in the beginning, maybe, you know, uh, something like that. No, I, I don't know. I think um, there's not really anything that you should look back on and reflect upon. More like don't do it again. But if you haven't done it in the beginning, you wouldn't have known that. So uh, don't have regrets. Is probably what I'm going to say right now. So it's a boring answer. So.